What's going on, crew? How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. I just hopped on YouTube. I just hopped on Facebook double time tonight. And figure we mix it up for a little while for tonight and just do our Ask Matt Season 2, Episode 260 live to answer some questions for you guys. What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday night. So, a couple things we got going on. A couple things we got going on. Had a lot of questions on. As you guys know, the blade holders did not come in on Friday when I was thinking they were. However, we did get a few of them in. We're hoping to get the rest of them in tomorrow. But here they are. Blade holders. So, hopefully, we got the Roland GCC. And then we have the Cameo and GraphTech. So, hopefully, they'll all be arriving tomorrow. Our samples came in, so we're good with those. But we'll see. But I just wanted to hop on here on the live to be able to answer some questions for you guys. And... A lot of you probably know by now that, and I saw a lot of you guys signed up for it already, so I appreciate that, and we're going to freaking learn a crap ton of stuff, even different stuff than we learned last week, but the Design Wizard Pro Training Series 2 starts tomorrow. Starts tomorrow, five days, ten hours, two hours a day. Just like last week, but this time we're doing theme-based designs. What's up, Jeff? What's up, Kyle? What's up, Grant? How you doing? So, tomorrow we're going to be creating first class. Part one is going to be doing some sports designs and live templates. Okay? And then, oh, hairstylist and uh, barber stuff, we are. We're working on some, Todd, already. Um, on Tuesday, we're going to be knocking out some family event stuff, like family reunion stuff and, um, and family vacation, stuff like that as far as for designs. On Wednesday, we're going to work on some trending designs, just kind of looking up, hey, what, what's trending right now? Knock out a few designs for that. And then we got Thursday is birthday design. So on the birthday design one, we're going to be doing kind of a, a, onesie kind of infant design then we're going to do maybe do like a sweet 16 design then we're going to do maybe an over the hill design so we hit our entire market base right and then on friday graduation designs so it's going to be pretty sweet it's going to be pretty sweet so those were the biggest requests we got for theme based designs and basically we're going to teach you guys how we create all of our designs in the wizard and then you guys will hopefully learn how to create them and obviously you're going to get all the designs that we create for free. And then what we're going to do at the end of it, just to let all of you guys know, is all the designs we create in the webinar, we're going to make into a, a pack. Okay. We're going to put it into like a mini pack type thing. And then it'll be sold on the website. But all of you guys will get all those designs for free who are attending the, um, the training series. All right. All right, like I said, I got Facebook down low. I got YouTube up high. Fire away with some questions. Let's go. What you guys got for me tonight? What's up, Patricia? What's up, Sharon? What's up, Natalie? How are you? So we got, um, I got TikTok going as well. I got Facebook going. I got YouTube going. Tomorrow is the big live. So tomorrow's 150K subscriber giveaway. We will knock that out. We'll probably have five, 600 people online live for that maybe 700 I'm thinking with all the giveaways that we're doing. So looking forward to that. That'll be awesome. We'll also do a training as well. I agree, Kyle. Thank you to all the first responders and medical people out there helping. Appreciate all of you guys, all of you guys risking what you are to help all of us. Appreciate it. <coughs> what else we got? Wait, what's up, dude? How are you? All right, Jeff, what's going on? Missed your first minute. We're talking about, yes, yeah, so I was talking about the training this week. So we have a similar training to last week. And um, it's going to be hard to set a record, Debbie. Does anybody know what the record, does anybody know what the record is for a live? Who was on there that night when it went nuts? 
the record for a live feed. It went crazy. So it was last year. I don't know what it, it got shared in a crazy group, whatever it was. We had 1900 people online live for one of the trainings. It was, it was insane. And remember, I just kept giving away mini packs. Yeah, 1900. We came close to hitting 2000. I think we ended up at like 1940 or something. Oh yeah, it was, it was insane. All right. Um, will those trainings be available on YouTube at some point after, um, they won't be available on YouTube for the free, but they will be available. So if you cannot attend those premium trainings, like the one that we're doing, that's all week, two hours a day. If you can't attend it live, you'll still get the recorded version of it. Okay. I was there. Yes. I remember Charles, you did. Um, you'll still get the recorded version of every single one of them. So you'll get, still get the full 10 hours worth of training to watch as long as you want. You'll still get all the designs for free as well. It's honestly, for the, for the wizard side of it, it's going to be more... It's going to be more design training than probably what we do at the in-house just because it's not going to be slowed down by everybody and everybody following along. It'll be you guys all learning it as I'm doing it and as Sean's doing it, but obviously after the case. Yes, Todd, how about it? Elvis, I remember that. <laughs> yes, did you pay your taxes? Remember we had to kick out Elvis like five, ten times? Oh, awesome, Keep. Yes. So the, the, that full five-day training, it's $50, okay? It's basically $5 an hour, and you'll get all the recordings. Um, I have the Cricut Maker. Sweet, Natalie. Hey, how many of you guys, just to give you, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Just to kind of give you guys an idea. How many of you guys know Charlie? Well, you don't know her, but know of Charlie from TikTok. How many of you here know of Charlie from TikTok? So... Charlie just took over the most followers of anybody. She's number one now on TikTok and has 40, I want to say she's almost near 44 million, 44 million followers on TikTok. So they brought her to the Super Bowl. She does all types of crazy stuff with celebrities and whatnot, right? If you watch one of her recent TikToks, I noticed it. She's doing a TikTok. She's there with her mom. And if you look in the background, you'll see the exact Cricut Explorer Air and an Easy Press sitting on a table in the background of her room or house there. So I keep trying to message her saying, hey, have you done Ryan some? Obviously, she's getting 100,000 comments on every video that she makes. So there's a one in a million chance of her seeing it, but hey, you never know, right? Been binge watching, Maria, I love it, love it. Man, I need a three inch SS10 design, please. What do you mean, three inch, um, Heidi, what do you mean a three inch SS10 design? That's 44 million more than me. That's 44 million more than me, Wayne. It's 44 million more than almost everybody. What's up, Cindy? How are you? So I had a crazy project today. So a lot of you guys saw my building of the uh, vinyl racks over here. And I finished those up. I cut the one and a half. So I basically have three different tube size now. I have one and a half inch, two inch, and three inch tube size. The three inch tube size can fit like a 10 yard roll of material in it. And... Todd, I'm lost on that. I've been completely out of it. What the hell is the t this Tiger King thing? I'm, I'm clueless on it. Can someone fill me in on Tiger King? Because I'm seeing it everywhere now and I haven't, I haven't had time to look it up and see what the hell is going on with it. Trio, appreciate you. Tuning in from Alaska. Love it. Oklahoma Tiger Zoo. When you pre-cut decals, do you mask and store or do you mask and ship the decal? Um, either one. I mean, when you mask it, you're going to store it and mask it and ship it. 
Uh, seen it all over the place too, and no idea, Barb. Yep. Donna, Mike, what's up, guys? How are you? What's up, All Star? How you doing? Need to purchase some Caesar Easy Way HTV. Do you sell it by the yard? Yes, Joy. We sell it by the foot, all the way up to a fifty-yard roll, and everything in between. Um, crazy. There are a few really crazy documentary and crazy guy. Okay, yeah, I'll have to look. I don't. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. What's up, artist? How are you? Carol murdered her husband and fed him to a tiger. What the hell am I? What's going on here? Lots of different designs. Way too busy right now. Things like baseball design. I need a variety. Gotcha. Heidi, are you saying you need some different designs? Dr. Mary Rose has to do some treatment of tigers and Joe. Okay. Tiger King is addicting. I don't have time to watch shows. My, you know what my show watching time is? That is me working on The Wizard. But today I had a freaking insane project. Go to my Instagram stories. Did, have any of you guys looked at my Instagram stories in the last uh, 10 minutes? So Instagram stories in the last 10 minutes, I just posted, I just finished it, the rock wall, just finished the rock wall. And man, that damn thing took like five hours. So I built it and it took for freaking ever, but you'll see, um, yes, the new twinkle vinyl is awesome. Have you tried it, Dale? I have some of it right here. The best decal color, Marsha, it depends on what you're doing. What's up, Joe? How are you? Sue, what's up? How you doing? Rosie, what's going on? Man, I think the guy I travel around the world and live in Florida exhibiting his tigers. Gotcha. I've been thinking about buying the wizard. How easy is it to upload to Design Space? Artists, well, once you create the file, it's super easy to get the file from the wizard over to Design Space. Super easy. And I'm making a video on it as well to show you even an easier way. It's just save it as an SVG file and bring it into Design Space. How many times can you normally use a template? Mike, I've used a template over 100 plus times. Um, you guys want to see the Tweakle vinyl? Hold on. So, this is the Twinkle vinyl. So it's a glitter, glitter vinyl, hard to see right now but it is a reflective glitter vinyl. And you guys know how I am with reflectives. So, reflective glitter. So when the light hits it at night, it's like the berry blast and like the gold blast, but it's a glitter. It's freaking crazy. So I'm gonna do some tutorial videos on it. And those of you guys who have not seen my friend CJ, CJ's all done now. Entire top, side, and the blade holder. Right, CJ? Is that blinding you guys? It probably is, right? Um, we are planning on getting more colors of the Twinkle, yes. As soon as they release them, we're going to have all the colors they have. Um, right now, I think it's like a pinkish, a gold, a red, a blue. I think there's like four, maybe five colors right now. How does it cut, Matt? The, the Cricket Joy cuts pretty sweet. Go, go to my YouTube channel, and I just did a video uh, yesterday on it. Um, is it as expensive as the reflective vinyl? No, Drew, it's not crazy expensive. The reflective or the twinkle. Remember, this is heat transfer vinyl for shirts. Okay, heat transfer vinyl for sure. Yes, I do. Do you have some done that I can get now? I'll be ordering stones. Um, Heidi, um, shoot a shoot a Instagram DM or a Facebook Messenger and let me know what you're looking for. Do you have a different angle blade too? Yeah, Drew, we have the 45 and 60 or 45 and 65 degree blades. Yes. And then this is the um, FTC glitter sign vinyl, okay? Glitter sign vinyl, which is sweet. Um, 
What else we got? Do you guys like the new setup I got going too, by the way? So I did some rearrange and I still got some work to do on it, but it's pretty sweet. Um, is the twinkle as thick as the glitter? As thick as the glitter? No, it's um, it's actually a little bit thinner than the glitter and it has a smooth feel to it. It's a little bit different. And like I said, I'm gonna do a tutorial video on it probably on Tuesday. Best stones for beginners keep are um, the Korean Low Lead SS10. Korean Low Lead SS10. They are 40% off right now through tomorrow. The 150,000 subscriber sale is going on right now. Through tomorrow, those stones are 40% off. Um, need a maker? Well, here's the thing. Everybody keeps saying, hey, Matt, you need to get a Cricut maker, which is awesome, okay? I know that the maker is better than the Explorer Air, and it's better than the um, Cricut Joy, and it's as good, maybe, a lot of people are saying, as the Cameo, but you know what the Cameo and the maker don't have? Neither of them come close to this. This is the 15 inch graph tech, insane. So the only reason why I bought the Cricut was to do some videos and tutorials and allow our call center to learn how to do it to help all of you guys who are Cricut users. But when it comes to actual jobs, I don't touch anything other than the graph tech. Like, the graph tech, did you guys see the speed test that I did on cutting rhinestone? I have it on Instagram and I posted it on YouTube as well. Um, the speed test I did <clears throat> between those, I cut a rhinestone template. It was 314 stones, okay? Rhinestone template of 314 stones. The graph tech cut it in I think a minute 30. The Cameo 4 cut it in like 4 minutes and 15 seconds. The Cricut Joy cut it in 8 minutes and 30 seconds. And the Cricut Explore Air 2 cut it in 10 minutes. The craziest part about it that I was surprised... Rosie, I know so much Cub stuff behind me, right? The craziest part about it was the Cricut Joy cut it faster than the Explore Air 2. I was super freaking pumped and, and surprised by that. How do you purchase the rhinestones? Just on the website, on the rhinestoneworld.com, and you'll see them right there. You guys want to see the vinyl rack? I'll bring you guys one at a time. Okay, let me turn on some lights here real quick. I'm going to flip on some lights so you guys can see a little bit better. All right, so I will bring... Facebook, I'll bring you guys over real quick first, show you the vinyl racks. So, these are the vinyl racks that I made for underneath my tables. So, that one fits 105 two inch PVC pipe tubes. Then the three inch tubes, I think it fits, what was it, 66 of the three inch. And it's amazing, it's dead space right there. So it's not losing anything. And then you can see I got my Cameo 3, my Cricut, my Explorer Air 2, my Cameo 4, my Easy Press, my 16 by 20, my Graph Tech, embroidery machine over here, and another table where I built in through there. Pretty sweet, right? Now, you two, your turn. Let me bring you guys and show you what's going on. So YouTube, there it is. Those are the three inch tubes there. And then those are the two inch tubes. And then I got some one and a half inch tubes as well. So again, completely dead space down there that now I'm gonna be able to store all of my vinyl. And then this is the new setup along the top with all the cutters and then embroidery machine and still working some stuff over here. Pretty sweet, huh? All right, I'm back, Facebook. What type of heat press do you recommend for small spaces, i.e. an apartment? Um, getting started, I would roll with probably the little pink press if you got a small area. $300, good quality press, and $300, good one to start with. Um, 
Frankie, I don't, I just saw, did you read my comment? But I didn't see your comment, Frankie. Um, just got my graph tech set back up after three years. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. Alex helped you out. Any talk about closing business in Florida? Debbie, no, not right now. I haven't heard anything. And hopefully, I mean, I don't know. We, we at the warehouse, we have some people working from home. We're trying to keep, obviously, your six-foot distance and as far as packaging and everything, and everybody's kind of staying away from each other. So our warehouse is big enough to where we don't have as much staff in there right now, and it's we're meeting all requirements that they're saying to do right now. Um, the training is up from Friday, yes. Yes, that is up. Just go to your order history. Um... How do I ship my 4x4 bling anything decal so they don't bend? Just put a little piece of cardboard in there, Mike. I am an essential business. I agree. Because that's the thing. I was thinking about that as well, Todd. Is I mean, we have hospitals that buy um, vinyl and stuff from us where they have to make different things. So, I don't know. We'll see. What's up, Chantel? How are you? What else you guys got for me? Uh, yes, the twinkle is this material here. That's the twinkle glitter. And like I said, probably on Tuesday I'll do a video on it. Um, is there a big difference between the 6,000 and the 7,000? No, not a huge difference. For what most of you guys are doing, you won't really notice much of a difference. Um... Is the auto film the same as bling that decal film? No, the bling anything material is to do rhinestones and glitter heat transfer vinyls and, and stuff. Frankie, I'm not see Frankie, I can't scroll back and see all of them, so just keep posting it because I can only see two comments at a time and there's 120 people posting. So I'm looking through both of them. So just post it, and when I see it, I'll answer it. Maybe you could discuss this before, but I got, how does the July in-house training look? Um, Debbie, we're still hoping for it, but we are going to let you guys know as soon as possible. So, March, April, May, June, July. I'm hoping, hoping, if things aren't good by then, then we're in big trouble, but hoping so. So, we will let you guys know as soon as, as soon as we know. And we want it to be safe for you guys. We aren't going to risk it at all. If anything, we'll just reschedule it a little bit later. But nothing as of yet. How to order 10 yards on the site. To order 10 yards, you're just going to order 30 feet. So it's going to be by the foot on the site. So just order a quantity of 30. Um, asking about layering decals without a mask. What do you mean without a mask? Do you have any info on HTV washing care for customers? Um, Wayne, I really don't have washing care for customers because if you're pressing it right, if you're using a good press, I just tell them to wash it. Can you explain the number side of the rhinestone SS10 and the gross? Yes, Lewis. So the number side is basically a gross is around 144 stones. I would not, spoken to you, don't upgrade from the 6,000 to 7,000, you're good. Um, so a 10 gross is 1,440 stones, a 100 gross is 14,400 stones, and so on. Unless you're Corey, yes. Um, just, just have some beers and it'll be all right. Yes, Shandy. Um, do you have any info on, yep, washing instructions, okay. Uh, Frankie, you still haven't seen it yet, but let me know. You got it spoken, no problem. What else you guys got for me? Um... Did everybody here go get their free designs for today? What plotter can you recommend for less than $500? Um, right around $500, Carlos, is going to be the GCC Expert 2. And that's the yellow one that you'll see on the website. GCC Expert 2. It's a 24-inch. It's a stepper motor. It's kind of an introductory cutter, but it's a nice cutter. Or if you want to go less, you go $299. You do a silhouette cameo, make enough money to eventually get the graph tech. Um, Frank, I have a decal question. Okay, I want to put two decals together under the other. For example, Orts White and Performance Red under the Orts White, but without tape on the Performance. Oh, man, I'm completely confused on that question, Frankie. I want to put two decals together 
under the other. For example, the orts white and performance red under the orts white, but without tape on the per why why without tape? What do you mean? How are you gonna get it transferred? How are you gonna get it over to um how are you gonna get over to apply like the for the customer? Shoot me a couple pictures if you can. Um who wants to white cover the red so to do the knockout. I need to get what's up, big Stan? How you doing, buddy? I hear you, Stan. Hit me up. What's up, Joe? How you doing, buddy? We got some YouTubers in the house tonight. I like it. If you haven't been to Stan's page, go check out T-Shirt Side Hustle. Go check out Stan Banks. And if you haven't been to Joe's page, go check out Heart and Hustle Printing. Two good dudes. What's up, Harry? How are you? Facebook. If I put the tape on the performance and want it on the blue backing, it won't stick. Oh man, Frankie, I don't know. I don't know. I would have to like see it and like mess with it to be able to, I'm sure I would be able to figure it out, but I'm still not really seeing what you're, what you're trying to do. 25 gross. What, what's 25 times 144? Is it like 3,600? I think. I think a 25 gross is about 3,600. What's up, All Star? How are you? What's up, Raymond from Phoenix? How you doing? Um, what else I got today? Free designs. Did everybody say yes? I went and got my free designs. So there's two free designs up there today. Okay. Remember, no, Sonia. Remember, the hundred and fifty thousand YouTube subscriber sale ends tomorrow night. Okay. So tomorrow at the first class for the Wizard Training Series is tomorrow from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, it's five days. Five days. Five dollars an hour, basically. Yeah, post pictures on the crafting page and we'll get you hooked up, Frankie. <clears throat> no problem, Carlos. That's what I'm here for. Is there a difference between the tape for rhinestones and tape for Oracle? Yes, Denise. The rhinestone tape is a hot fix tape, which can withstand the heat of your heat press. If you put decal application tape there, it's just going to melt to your press. Bad news. Don't do it. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. Yes, there's a new week for the training now. Yes, Jen. We're doing a, a second series, all brand new. I was the guy. I, I tell you guys this all the time. If you talk about a, a frugal, cheap, try everything guy starting our business, that was me. I tried all the crap that I thought wouldn't work. And believe me, I tried both things. I tried hot fix tape to work as decal application tape. No, I tried decal application tape to work as hot fix tape. And I was so pumped. I remember this. Like, I vividly remember this. I threw on the hot fix tape. It picked up the stones. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm pumped. This is going to work. Not even thinking about it. I brought it over my press. I pressed it. The stone stuck. Okay, the stone stuck. I was like, yes. And then I realized there was no application tape. I was like, oh crap, where did all the application tape go? You know where it went? It was freaking melted on my platen. That sucked. Probably a good hour and a half, two hours to clean that damn thing off. So don't do it. Bad news. Bad news. Um, do you all sell? Yes, Heather, we sell AB rhinestones as well. You'll see them on the website. AB, the Aurora Borealis stones. Matt sent you a picture of what I need help with. Awesome. Send it, put it on the crafting page too, Frankie. And then everybody will be able to get on there and help you too. What's the stone size of blue portion of... The stone size of the blue portion of CJ is SS16 stones. So all of these are SS16 stones. Most of these are SS16 stones. And then around some areas is SS10s. The blade holder is SS10s as well. So probably 90% of CJ here is SS16s. And I put the stone count on Instagram for you guys as well. What else we got? 
I'm on fire tonight. Let's go. Um, like I said earlier, I'm hoping that our Cameo CBO9 TRW blade holders are coming in tomorrow. I'm hoping they'll be here tomorrow. They were supposed to be here Thursday, then Friday. And then they said that they were trying to get a hold of us, which they weren't. So I'm hoping they will be in tomorrow. I need my maker to look like that. If you make me a decal for it, I'll pay you personally. Um, artist, it's not a decal. Every single one of those hand placed. Five and a half hours, baby. 5,750 stones, one by one. The best full live sports template pack I recommend, Joy, 100%. It's TRW Live Templates Volume 3. TRW Live Templates Volume 3. My favorite, easiest to work with. Um, oh, that's a great question, Aaron. Eric. I need to look into that. To be, I'm not 100% sure. So that's something I do need to look, look into. Shoot an email to info at rhinestoneworld.com, Eric, so we can look into that for you. Um, Joy, TRW Live Template Volume 3. Uh, Maz, the TRW Design Wizard Pro Training Series Part 2, are you able to use for easy payment plan and easy... I think so, honestly, Drew. I think you might be able to use Klarna on that. I think you may be able to, so give it a try. If not, I'm pretty positive you can definitely use the PayPal payment plan. The free designs are on the website, yes. So when you go to the website... First thing you'll see is probably the video. Go to the next big slider. It's the 150,000 subscriber sale. Okay. And then you scroll that, click on that, scroll down, you'll see the free designs. Matt, I misplaced my disc for my GCC when changing my studio around. I need to put it on my new computer. Is there a way to get it? Um, I misplaced my disc for my GCC. Ooh. Peggy, give a call. That's That one's tough because we don't have any control over the GCC stuff. So let us know. Oh, yes. By the way, all-star members. All-star members. Listen to this. So I tried to go into the warehouse today. And I was going to try to put on a all-star training. Okay? So just to let you guys know, all-star members. Okay? You guys still have a designing with Matt. Okay, you guys still have a Designing with Matt. That's outside of the Designer Series. So, I am going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing that this week. And then you'll still get one for next month as well. Okay, so no, you have not been forgotten about, I promise. Got the Cameo 4, but if you got to... Sherry, no, what do you mean? They sent you the freebie and it wasn't signed? They normally just tell me each time they're being sent out. I'm going to have to find out. Damn it. Um, we already fixed that. So seniors in the new um, quarantine pack two has already been fixed. You'll see the post on Facebook. Sean went in and fixed that. And go re-download it where seniors was spelt wrong. We weren't English teachers. What's up, Brandy? How are you? How are you? Um, Ashanti, we're waiting. They're, they're back ordered right now. We're waiting for them to get in. <laughs> Nerd. It's funny because you're, you're, a lot of times you're so focused on it. How many of you guys have done this? Okay. How many of you guys have done this? A lot of the time you're so focused on creating a design, you don't pay attention to the simple detail of spelling something normal right. Right? Right? The crafting page, Crafting with Rhinestones and Vinyl, Facebook page. Definitely go check it out. Spelling errors happen all the time when schools are closed. <laughs> Um, do the TRW pink stones come only in? Um, the TRW pink, yes. So, that old lot color of the SS10s and SS6s is unavailable anymore. We are our main producer, can't produce and match that exact same color, so that's why you're only seeing 16s in those. Um, did you see the thing about the quarantine 
bubble. Yeah, that's just the way the quarantine bubble one, Chuck, is the way that it's knocked out. So you'll see part of it's knocked out. So it's actually, I saw that. It's actually cutting off a little part of the Y. And it's almost, I see what you're saying on that. It's almost making it look like a V. And we can fix that one too if needed. What else we got? Um, can you take embroidery design and use it for a rhinestone template? Um, if you create it into rhinestones, if you have a vector file of it, um, I sell Swing 40 shirts once, had registration mark, not cover went so well, shirt. I hear you, I hear you, just knocking out some shirts and then realize it's spelt wrong. I've done it, I've done it. Get the free designs, just go to the website, click on the 150,000 subscriber big banner, and then scroll down and you'll see the free designs. No problem, Carlos, anytime, buddy. Anybody can go on the crafting page, yes, Natalie. Crafting with rhinestone and vinyl, just go. It'll ask you a few questions and just answer those questions. And then the moderators and stuff will check it and let you guys in. I have an HTV question. Do you think layering vinyl silhouettes together is better than cutting them individually and jigsawing pieces together on shirts so that they don't layer? Um, beautiful. Uh, I, I love the knockout look where you're not layering it directly on top of each other, but it really depends on the design. So if you can get away without layering it directly on top of each other, it gives a softer feel, but there's a lot of times where you can't. And think about your time involved in it too, because that's where most of our cost is, right? Um, hey, YouTube, click that like button. Let's go. We got 140 of you here and 62 likes. YouTube, click the like button. Let's go. Um, can you do more GCC tips and tricks like you do with the graph deck? Yeah, we can get start, start getting some more GCC stuff going, Peggy. What else we got? Um, what else do I have here? I, I did get my new cutter in to cut down my materials. So, the new cutter is... It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. So to cut down into 12 inch and five and a half inch for whether it's the Cameo or the Cricut Explorer Air or even the 15 inch Graph Tech or the four and a half inch cut space, but five and a half inch um, cut down for the Cricut Joy here. What else we got? Did everybody get their entries in for tomorrow as well? Yeah, I can show you the cutter. Hold on. So it's this one here. So it has a 12 inch spot. You can move this up and down depending on what you're cutting. And then your blade just slides across easy to cut my five and a half inch or 12 inch or whatever it is. Now, remember, with this right here, the thing is, this one was a lot more expensive. This was like $150, but it's a much more quality cutter. It gives me that bigger space and it makes it a lot easier. I'm looking for time saving. I can cut 15, 20 sheets at a time to knock these down. What else we got? Um, if I'm using your stones for crafting with E6000 shock stones, would I get, um, Heather, you would get the flat back stones if you're, but Heather, what you want to get, it's very inexpensive. It's like six bucks, Heather, get the super tight fusion tack glue on our website. It, it blows away the E6000. It doesn't have any of the harmful chemicals. It doesn't have the smell. It's sweet. I have a, uh, is it doll or dolly? The personal cutter, yeah, Natalie, they're sweet, aren't they? Definitely worth the cost if if you can budget it. Um, the Graph Tech, the only one you have is faster cutter and better motor. No, dupes. We have um, we do the GCC Puma, which is a servo motor. The GCC Jaguar, and we have the uh, Roland GS twenty four. So we have, we carry four 
of the cutters that have the servo motor. that are faster, cleaner cuts, quieter, everything. Yes, Heather. But flat backs, yes. Heather, you don't want the hot fix, you want the flat back stones, correct. Um, the Facebook group is called Crafting with Rhinestones and Vinyl. I'll bring you guys both here to see it. Hold on. Oh, thanks, Todd. So, right here. Crafting with rhinestones and vinyl. Hosted by the TRW crew. And Facebook. Let me flip you guys around. This one right here. And we have... Probably, eight, I don't even know exactly, 18, 19,000 um, people in there. But we're also kind of strict on the people that go in. We don't just let anybody in. Obviously, all of you guys that are looking to learn stuff, what we don't let in is every other company will come in. They'll try and spam stuff. Buy from us. The goal of that page is to learn. So we don't go post all of, hey, buy rhinestones from us and buy this. It's If we have a huge sale going on, every once in a while we might post in there. Or, but other than that, the whole point of that page is for learning. <clears throat> What's the model and brand of that cutter you showed? That was the Graftech CE6040, the 15-inch version. If you can afford an extra, let's say, $400 probably, the CE7060 um, is the 24-inch version of it. And now you never have to cut down any material. That's your go-to cutter. You got it, Heather, no problem. What else you guys got? Can you? Um, what else do I have? Oh, this hat, I brought this home just to be able to show. So this is white strip flock with black galaxy glitter, orange glitter, rhinestones layered on top of the glitter, strip flock, orange, or well, copper glitter with orange rhinestones layered on top of that as well. How many of you guys could sell a baseball mom hat like this right here? Probably every one of you, right? Or softball mom or soccer mom or whatever it is, right? Pretty sweet. But the reason why I'm able to layer all of those things that you can't normally layer is because you're going to very rarely wash a hat like this, right? So this is actually a design pack. So we have um, the hat design pack, which is pretty sweet. And it's a mini pack on the website. Oh yes, you guys wanna see the, Ooh, ah, this guy right here. So not able to see him a whole lot right now, but this is it right here. Cubby's baby. Yes, the ball. This was a present from Heidi. She knows Ryan Sandberg was my man. Number 23. His years. Go Cubs. Thanks, Heidi. I did not cover it with epoxy. No, you don't want to cover rhinestones with epoxy because it's going to take away the glitter. The stones are good. The only time I've ever had any stones fall off that is because I dropped it and the stones actually shattered. They cracked. Shandy, get out of here with that crap. Go Rangers. They're not even a major league baseball team. <laughs> what else you guys got? <laughs> um, what designs? I don't know. Like I have probably th at least three different designs that we'll be creating in the uh, TRW Design Wizard Pro Training Series 2 tomorrow. Yeah, right, dupes. 
I don't want to hear that. <laughs> uh, Marie, retro designs? Oh, we can look into some retro. Send in, email in some ideas of what you're looking for. Oh, thanks, Linda. Yes. Just, to, just a reminder, if you guys are joining the crafting page, join with your personal account. Because we don't want a bunch of diff, different business. What happens is businesses come in there and then they try and self-promote everything. So just join as your regular account or your regular name. Um, do you sell those vinyl roll clips instead of taping the vinyl rolls? The one you put behind you on the floor. Vinyl, the one I put behind me on the floor. Oh, as far as cutting them down? Is that what you're asking? The glitter hats, those were from Jonathan and Mel. Um, shoot an email. I can get you the website from Long Beach that we had. Yeah. Yes, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. No, we don't sell this actual cutter. I got it on Amazon. It's on the products we love on the website. The name of the cutter spoken. D-A-H-L-E-552. It's on the products we love on the website, the direct link. Um, for our website right now, remember, 75% off all designs. It ends tomorrow. 75% off all designs, artwork packs, mini packs, fonts. Okay? We've never done that before. That's our 150,000 YouTube subscriber sale. 40% off Korean hot fix stones. 15% off flat back stones and diamond cut stones. 15% off all heat transfer vinyl. 15% off all sign vinyl. 15% off Magic Flock, 15% off Bling Anything, 15% off Easy Weed Adhesive and Foils, 15% off the Shoe Kits. It's, it's honestly pretty much a Black Friday sale. But you hit 150,000 subscribers less than Black Friday comes. So we made it a big one. I haven't seen those, Drew. Shoot a picture of them. I mean, I've probably seen them, but not thinking of what you're instead of taping them down. Let me know. I know, hit that like button. Joe, I see 102 likes, but it's still short because we got 143 of you here. Let's go. 15% um, off cutter blades. Yes, the blades are 15% off as well. So... I was showing you guys with the Explore Air 2 using the Rollin' Blade. Yes, those are 15% off as well. <coughs> Shandy, we're not doing the follow-along. We, we basically got some different votes off the start. We're going to do the follow-along when we do an online in-house, out-of-the-house thing. Which is still in the plans and we actually have been working on it a lot more now with there being no trade shows and stuff. But this week we're doing, instead of a follow along, because we were worried that people would fall behind and they would start getting upset and we didn't want too many people to sign up for it, we're doing the theme-based designs. So we are doing a whole nother series this week, Sean and I, Monday through Friday, two hours a day, and it's all theme-based designs where you'll get all the designs for free. Um, do you have templates for design space? Yeah, we do have some of them already for design space, but all of them that we're going to be creating, we're going to make design space in um, Silhouette Cameo versions as well. Why would you need the rolling blade? Well, the, our clean cut blades that we have, they're just a much better quality blade than the basic blade that comes with the Cricut, and it just cuts way better. So our TRW clean cut blades fit into your roll, fit into, I'm sorry, your Cricut um, blade holder. And it's just a much better quality blade, which will last longer. It's going to cut better and everything. Special, I always go less 
for pressure carry. I always do the less instead of the default. For the Cameo 3, for the Cameo 3, you're gonna use the Graftech blade, but you need the Graftech blade holder, which is this, and this is what we're hoping we get in tomorrow. Yes, we should. They were supposed to be in on Thursday, then Friday. So we're hoping tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see. Should I start an embroidery business during this? Um, Flip, it really, I mean, do you already have an embroidery machine? In my opinion, right now, wouldn't it be the best time to invest in a ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 embroidery machine because there's not going to be a lot of business out there right this second. So... Be careful with that. Get really good at what you have right now is what I would recommend. Awesome, Deborah. You're going to love it. You got it, Shandy. No problem, dude. Drew, just post on the TRW Facebook page. Okay. Will the blades fit the brother scan and cut? That I don't know, Cynthia. I've never used a scan and cut, so I'm not sure. The 45 and 60, the 65 is going to be for thicker materials. Um, the 45 is for all of your regular materials. Oh, Eric, what is it? I've just been telling everybody the, um, the dimensions to change it to. What's the fix to bring it in so it comes in directly as the right size? Is it just something in design space that you do? Oh, thanks, bud. Milkshake. Jax was making me a milkshake. He was scared to bring it in because I was on the live. But he should know he can bring it in when I'm on the live. It's milkshake. I'm sharing with you guys. You guys want some? What else we got? And YouTube, hit up those milkshake emojis. Where are they at? <clears throat> the difference of the blades, the 60 or 65 degree blade is just for thicker materials. No, you have to use another program, save to SVG, import to Inkscape, resave them, import. Oh, that's a pain in the butt, Eric. But it helps. So what our plan is, Eric, is just <clears throat> we're going to put on every file what size you need it to be at. And then when you bring it in, it'll bring it in huge and then just resize it back to five inches tall or whatever. Um, dupes, yes, I use the 45 degree blade all the time, honestly. The only time you'll probably maybe use the 65 is if you're cutting the thicker brick material. How do you set pricing for rhinestone templates? Well, it just depends on how, how many colors it is, Rebecca. How many colors, how many stones, how long it's going to take you to make it. That's the biggest thing. Don't focus on so much the stone count. Focus on your labor cost and time involved. <coughs> um, Linda, the ones on Amazon are super, super cheap blades. Super, super cheap blades. So be careful with that. I mean, you can get super, it's like anything. You're going to get what you pay for. I try, believe me, I did all of those off the start. When I was starting my business, I got those super cheap blades and blade holders on Amazon and they broke all the time. And the, the blades didn't cut great. They were the cheapest blades they could possibly make. And I was running through the blades like that. So, I mean, it's, it's worth a try. I mean, try it. If it works for you, it works for you. I didn't get any success from them. And I know I've talked to a lot of you guys that have gotten the super cheap ones. And the problem is, is when they cut bad and they ruin your material, you're wasting more in material than what the $15 blade cost you. You know? 
And just to let you know, on my graph tech over here, the 45 degree blade, we were changing them about every four to five days. Yes, Todd. I cut a decent amount, even on my home cutter here. I'm doing lives every Monday night. I'm doing videos, whatnot, right? I've had that blade in now for over a year. Now, it's starting to get a little dulled down. My cuts aren't as perfect or precise, but it still works. Yes, yeah, so our blades fit this. The CB09 blade holder is the blade holder for the Graftech, yes. Um, there's only two blades basically for each cutter. So there's different ones for the, different blades for the GCC and for the Graftech and for the Roland and so on. But yeah, normally a 40, 45 and 60 degree or 45 and 65 degree. Is there a larger machine that I can use with my Mac? I'm using a Cameo 3, but I haven't been getting, I've been getting, yeah, Tyler, the, you're looking for a 24 inch. So the GCC Expert 2 is a 24 inch cutter and you're looking at about uh, five, $550, $600 range, but it's a, it's a stepper motor, pretty loud and pretty slow. Um, your your go-to end cutter is going to be your Graph Tech 24 inch, your Roland 24 inch, or your Jaguar 24 inch cutter. Servo motors, 24 inches, super fast, super clean cut, super quiet. Um, just search Gina. What cutter? What cutter do you have, Matt? A couple of nurses that are work now. They take their temps and have to go home. If I, yes, yes, Joe, I know. Sold them each a nurse decal. Nice. <clears throat> Will the CB09 blade fit? No, Marsha. It won't fit the Cameo 4 blade holder. Let me show you. So on the Cameo 4, you'll have to use this blade, um, the housing that came with it. You'll see this kind of brownish gray one that came with it. And then this is the CB09 blade holder. And then it fits into this, which fits the Graftech blade inside. <clears throat> Got it? Um, I put the rhinestones on the Cricut with, with, this, with the super tight Fusion Tac glue. So this is what makes my uh, Cameo 4 cut so good. Um, you can extend the blade as far as you want, but you don't want it too far out. I'm not sure if you guys can even see how far it is out right now. But pretty sweet. Uh, my Beauty One Stop Shop is just the $100 difference to upgrade from the 4 to the 5. I just popped that back in the Cameo 4 real quick. Awesome, Drew. It worked perfect. You got it, buddy. No problem. Strip Flock and Strip Flock Pro. Strip Flock Pro is the newer material that you can layer. The original Strip Flock is still good. It's just a different... They've, they've changed the adhesive and stuff on it. Kind of the thickness of it. I... Yes. <clears throat> I didn't see the name. But yes, I do use the 45 degree on the Cameo 4 with the with the uh, CB09 blade holder and the clean cut blade. Yes, I use the 45. Um, I have not cut the magnetic sheets on it. No, I haven't. The glue I said, Barbara, was the super tight fusion tack. You got it, Joe. Have a good night, buddy. Um, yes, the clean cut blade with the blade holder works with the Cameo 3 as well. And I don't, I have the auto blade in here, but the Cameo 3 also has, uh, insert. And you know what? Let me see if, I haven't even tried this. No. Nope. So you're going to need the, uh, the housing that comes with the Cameo 3. It's a different size.
What else we got? Got a couple minutes left. Uh, ba 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 too. Oh, a little too good. <laughs> Drew, that's funny, dude. Uh, I use the CBO9 directly on the Cameo 3. Oh, yeah, duh. Stupid me. Yes. I'm sorry. So, I think, right? Ooh, did you see that catch? Look, the CBO9 blade holder goes directly into the Cameo 3. You don't even need the extra attachment. So, see how they're both the exact same height? So it drops directly into the Cameo 3. Thank you. Who told me that? Peggy? Was it you? Thank you. I'm getting too used to this Cameo 4 now. What else we got? A couple minutes left. Um, welcome, welcome. What's up, what's up? Yes, thank you, Linda. Running sure across, will the artwork packs and mini packs work? Um, certain ones will. You won't be able to do all the live template stuff in shortcuts a lot. Uh, gotta go. You got it, Ricky. Have a good night. Hey, appreciate your help. Appreciate everything you do, Ricky. Thanks, buddy. The Graph Tech blade on the website to use with the um with the Cameo Four. That blade holder is not in yet, so you're gonna want this blade holder that we're hopefully getting in tomorrow. And. So this blade holder that we're hopefully getting in tomorrow, and then you're gonna want the Graph Tech 45 degree blade. Um, what's my opinion? They're both the same thing, Tony, to be completely honest with you. They're both very similar, the US Cutter and the GCC Expert. They're both introductory, not great cutters, to put it simple. Yes. How about 160 of you guys on YouTube tonight? That's what I'm talking about. Um, you get magnetic sheets. I haven't cut any of the magnetic sheets at all. I haven't cut any of those yet. No. All right, Wayne, you have a good night, buddy. Yes, the flatback stones. Use super tight glue versus the E6000. S super easy to work with. Way easier to work with. Uh oh. Coming back to your Facebook. All right. I'm just here. Um, Vanessa, no clue on that one. Matt, I'm looking for start making rhinestone shirts and jackets. What all do I need? Mike, just shoot us an email to info at the rhinestoneworld.com and we can get you links and everything that you need. Whether it's a starter kit or just individual packs and stuff. Right now is the time with the huge sale that's ending tomorrow. Okay? Matt, live in Japan. Always looking forward to watching your videos. Even if you don't understand, even if I don't understand English, you can get through the work and imagine. Awesome. Thank you. Hiroaki? Is that right? Close? Close enough, right? What's up, Japan? That's what I'm talking about. Where's the reflective glitter vinyl on your website? Um, look under the TRW Reflect is where you'll find the reflective. The blade holders haven't come in yet, Darlena. We're hoping tomorrow. They said Thursday, then they said Friday. Didn't show up. Everything's freaking delayed right now. The sale is through tomorrow night, Regina. Yes. So I'll be going live tomorrow night. On tomorrow night's live, I'm guessing we'll have five, 600 people. Who knows how many? And uh, we'll do a training. It'll be on YouTube. I'm on YouTube with you guys, Facebook. So um, we got 
$2,000 in giveaways tomorrow. So confused with the blade and blade holder for the Cameo 3. So with the Cameo 3, Sonia, what you'll need is this blade holder, okay? Hopefully we'll have this on the site tomorrow. And then the blade you'll need is the Graph Tech blade, okay? Once you have these two things, this blade holder will go directly into your Cameo 3. <clears throat> Most popular rhinestones and colors. Most popular stones are Korean low lead stones, SS10. Those are 40% off on the sale right now. You can use different blades for the Cameo, Tyler, yes. All I use on every cutter that I have is our clean cut blades. What's up, Johnny? How are you? Vanessa, what is that? Just hearing some news about NASA that we should turn off our phones tonight. Did you hear anything? No, why would I turn off my phone? Oh, awesome, Tyler. That should help you. Uh, Johnny, you've been looking. Johnny, I'll save one for you, buddy. Don't worry. I got you. Really? I haven't heard anything about that, Vanessa. Is my phone going to blow up? <clears throat> All right. I got some stuff to get done. Hey, go check out. NASA thing is a hoax. Okay. Go check out Instagram. Go check out my Instagram. And um, go check out my Instagram stories. And check out the rock wall. The rock wall is looking sweet. Maddie runs through that thing like it's nothing. And then she did the pegboard. Going all the way up on the pegboards. That crap is so damn hard. Uh, the CBO9 isn't on the site yet, Mike. Hopefully tomorrow. I'm, they were supposed to be in on Thursday. I'll post it everywhere on Facebook and Instagram and everything once they're in. Don't worry. You got it, dude. Appreciate you. Um, man, that thing's so hard. I'm not even doing it on a video because that thing's so damn hard. Those little rock wall things like that big. And Maddie and Jax's little feet can get on it. My damn big old foot won't even stand on those things. It's hard. I'm going to I'm gonna have to practice some before I post anything. <laughs> it's difficult. All right, crew. Hey, make sure you go get your free designs. <clears throat> go get your free designs for the day. Like I said, sale ends tomorrow. I will be live 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. We will be killing it. We will be killing it on the training, TRW Design Wizard Training Series Part 2, Class Number 1. We're going to be knocking out some sports designs, and you guys are going to learn how to make some badass designs for your customers once schools and baseball and soccer and football and everything is back in. Alicia, appreciate the support. Welcome to the Little League membership. But of course, I will see all of you guys tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, if I don't see you at the one o'clock training class. All right, crew, you guys all have an amazing night. We hit 160 of you, I think, on YouTube tonight. I think we were up to 130 on Facebook as well. Appreciate all of you guys. You guys are freaking killing it. And I will see you guys soon. Facebook, later. All right, YouTube. You guys always get the last one. Later, crew.